Oh, <laughs> hey guys. Um, well, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> You're probably wondering what I'm doing here and not over there. To be honest, I didn't think you would notice if I didn't do a tutorial this week. Oh no, I thought I could just relax. I saw the pool, I saw the lounger, and I thought, that is what I want to do today. What do I do? I think it's too late now to make a build. Um, I'll tell you what, you can join me if you like. Yay! Pull up a lounger. Or, or even get in the pool. The pool is lovely, by the way. The water is fine. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, sorry. Jeeves? Jeeves? So today we are making a drop down pool. Why? Well, because it's awesome. So why is this build awesome? I hear you ask. Well. Now speaking about awesome, let's take a quick look at the redstone. <laughs> that is a terrible link. To be honest, there's not much to add about this redstone. It's just triple tileable piss extenders. So um, yeah. I mean, one great thing though, is that it's super, super simple to build. And speaking about building, here's another link. Let's get on with this tutorial. So for this amazing build, you're going to need one regular piston, 21 sticky pistons, one observer, 14 redstone repeaters, 44 redstone dust, one redstone block, two droppers, one hopper, one rubbish block, basically a block you don't mind throwing away, 25 slime blocks, 25 honey blocks, one button, 71 immovable blocks, but don't worry, that's not all obsidian, you can use glazed terracotta, two buckets of water at least, 30 stairs, 21 slabs, 30 blocks of redstone to go on, event have you blocks you need for decoration. Okay, to start this build, you first need to do some digging, annoyingly, <laughs> okay. So what you want to do is dig out a rectangle, which is 11 wide by 16 long. And then you want to do that eight deep, okay? So it needs to be six, uh, 11 by 16, then eight deep. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then it needs to be 16 long. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then dig out all these blocks in between to finish off the rectangle. Okay, so now you need to basically do that seven more times, okay? Because that is one deep, but we need it to be eight deep. Okay, so now you should have a hole which is 11 wide by 16 long by eight deep. Brilliant. <laughs> now what I want you to do is come to one of the walls and come out one, two, three blocks, remove the first two and do a line like this. And then just do the same for each wall. So come out two here, another one, remove the first two and do a line. The same here. One, two, three, remove the first two, and a line joining them up. And the same here. One, two, three, remove the first two, and a line. And you can see here now, we have a rectangle smack in the middle of our hole, okay? So it should be two blocks away from each side. So now we can remove all these extra ones here. Now what you want to do is grab a decoration block and place one in each corner. And now you want to grab some stairs and place them facing inward like that, where these blocks used to be. Just make sure they're facing upside down and in toward the middle of our pool. Now basically you need to fill in the walls of our swimming pool. So either use obsidian, any immovable block, or use terracotta as I'm about to now, okay? <laughs> I 
Okay, so after that, place a temporary block underneath any of these blocks, and now we need to place in the flooring of the swimming pool. So what I like to do is place blocks around like this. It's completely up to you how you want to decorate it. And then some solid blocks in the middle. Okay, now come underneath, and we want to place a line of slime blocks like this. One, two, three, four, five. Then a line of honey. And you want to alternate this. Now a line of slime. You guessed it, a line of honey. And go all the way along. Okay, now coming over to the right hand side, place down one, two, three blocks, remove the first two, and then have sticky pistons going towards the slime block. One, two. Like that. And again, all along. So one, two, one, two, one, two, all along the slimes and honey blocks. And then come over to the other side, and we want to place two blocks down, remove the first one, and have one sticky piston going towards the slime and the honey blocks. And again, all along. Okay, so after you've done that, now we can get on with the redstone, which is really, really easy. So firstly, you place a block underneath the sticky piston, and one out, remove this block, and we need a line of blocks 10 long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So every sticky piston should have a block in front of it like that. And dust on every single one. Then a block here, and one up. One to the left, remove this block, and have a repeater on three tick delay going toward that block. So place the repeater down and press it twice, once, twice. Then a block here and dust. Block above that dust. A slab here and a block and dust on all three. And then we want a line of slabs on the top side of these pistons. So not here, but here, all along. And dust on every single one, like that. A temporary block here and one up. Remove this block, two more blocks out. And on these three blocks, we need three repeaters all on four tick delays. So, repeater here on four tick delay, another one here, and one more here. Now we want to grab our obsidian, and we want to place a line of it in front of the uh, slime and the honey blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we need repeaters going toward these blocks on every single one. Then grab some blocks and place them like this all the way along to here. Temporary block here and one up and just place dust on every block we just placed, like so. Then the last bit for the triple piston extender is to place a regular piston here. Whoa, that was my Alexa. That was the Alexa again. <gasps> that run really made me jump. Then grab an observer and place it up like that. Then a piece of obsidian here. Then a line of slabs like this. And dust on every single one. Like that. Now surprisingly, that's everything completely done. So if you want to add your own secret lever, all you have to do is just have a lever going into this rest and dust here, and then you're finished. But for those who want to add the T flip flop, all you have to do is firstly place a button down here. Then you want to grab a slab and place it here with dust on it. Then grab a dropper and place it facing upward off the side of that slab. Then crouch and place a dropper here. A hopper going to that bottom dropper. Just make sure you crouch again. Should be going directly toward it. Then crouch again and place a comparator here and a block here. Then we want to remove this dust and this block. Place a sticky piston facing downward and then a block of redstone here. Then in this bottom dropper, we need to place any old block you don't mind throwing away. So now we should have our full attraction when we flick the button, which we do, and then we flick the button again, and we should have our full extension. Beautiful. Now we need to place in the water. So if you're in survival, you just need two water buckets to make an infinite water source. But if you're all in survival like me, <laughs> you can just use the one and just go around like this. And every single stair, we need to waterlog it like this, all the way around. Okay, so we should have a massive like <laughs> sinkhole in the middle of water. <laughs> so when we press this button, we see all the water gets disappeared. <laughs> then when we press it again, we should have our pool. Beautiful. Okay, so all that's left to do now is just to cover up all the redstone. So we just have grass on top or whatever you pretty much fancy going all the way around.
There we are. Instant pool, all done. <laughs> and this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, like this video or like this sign. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Please give us a like and if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next one and I'll see you later. Bye.